Good afternoon, viewers. Uh, welcome to your show, the weekly news recap with myself, Alkali Cham. Um, with me today is one of the aspiring candidates for the um, upcoming local government elections um, under the ticket of Gambia Democratic Congress, uh, Mr. Makalo. Mr. Makalo, you are welcome to the weekly news recap on Caribbean News Network. Thank you so much. You're welcome to. Uh, Mr. Makalo, we want to know a little bit about you. Um, who is Mr. Makalo? And you seem to be a, a strength person in politics. So could you tell us who is Mr. Makalo? Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Akali Cham. I am Ibrahima Makalo. I'm a born Gambian from Badibu Saba. Yeah. Uh, really, my father is a Dedauda Makalo who passed away. But I'm wrestling between Lambay Johnson, okay. former Governor Johnson. Okay. Yeah, my stepfather is living there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Makolo. So tell us, um, why do you want to contest on the ticket of Gambia Democratic Congress um, in this forthcoming local government election um, in your candidature for the? Uh, local government election as a councillor for um, uh, Banyul, uh, Crab Island Ward in Banyul. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm contesting for a Crab Island Ward that is uh, under Banjul North as a councillor under the ticket of the Gambia Democratic Congress. Why? Well, my intention is because of the way I'm seeing things going in our country. I think it's the time for the youth to take the responsibility and the destiny of this nation. That's why I decide. It's not my will, but I see that I have a potentiality to support in some issue. So that's why I decide. And now he left to my party. If my party give me the go and hell, I will go for it. Yeah. But for me, I have done all the necessary that is required by my party. Um. It is very obvious that young people are not coming up to uh, take part in the decision making at the at the political level. Uh, what is your take on youth participation in politics in this country as a young as a youthful man? Okay, you know uh, today we have one problem also. If you have to answer in that question, the media are not doing their job properly. Okay. I'm sorry to say it. Uh, because before we was having what they call bantaba, yes. where the elders seated and discuss some matter, yes. bring more awareness to the youth. Okay. Today that is not it. What we have is the tubab system. Go to place like Senegal, Gambia, whereby you cannot know what is going on in your country. Who is who is doing the best thing? Mm -hmm. So that's why some youth mm -hmm. really they are not interested in politics because they think that I have to go where I get money. Mm -hmm but not where I have to be a decision maker oh. for my country. Okay. And then politics is about people who will make decisions for the country, for a better nation. Oh. Okay. That's why those who are aware, we go for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of political parties in this country. Some claim to be the biggest political parties. This includes United Democratic Party. This includes um, APRC. MPP, why do you choose to go to GDC instead of these parties? That's a very nice question, really. I really like your question. Okay, GDC is a political party that I really see a lot of peace, a lot of understanding, a lot of respect, a lot of dignity than others. So if you are a child that you know where you come from, you know where you have to go. I know my background, so I know why I'm in GDC. You never had anywhere in this country that GDC was in this or have seen this or have done this. But when it comes for peacemaking, all political parties, we are number one. Even my party leader is, an, is a model for others. So what have you learned? Because you seem to be strange in politics. Uh, what have you learned from your your leader 
or I would say your political father, that is uh, Mama Kande. Honorable. Uh, Honorable Mama Kande. Yeah. For what, what have you learned from him and make motivated you to take part in politics as well? Thank you so much. Uh, what I have learned from Honorable Mama Kande, in politics you need commitment. You need submitment. And you need achievement. If you look where Mama Kande started, Honorable Mama Kande started and where he is today, there was a commitment, there was a submitment, and it's in the achievement. Okay. So those are things that are very important in politics. So we come to um, we come to your own candidature for the forthcoming local government elections as a councillor. Uh, what makes you believe that you are the right candidate for Crab Island Ward? Okay. I believe that I'm the best candidate because of in presidential election, my party can testify it. I did a great job during the presidential election. I was the one who endorsed the presidential election on the GDC ticket to the IEC. It was endorsed by Ibrahim Makalo. I am the one. And then in Banjul, we have did a lot. Campement school, we have did set set all day, clean the school. And the school, if you want next time when I'm coming, I'll bring you those evidence here. Yeah. So, and then GDC, whenever it comes in times of our nation, we don't even look after the political party. We look Gambia first before anything. The party believe in me because I will serve the interests of my nation than my own interest. That is about leadership. They give you position to serve order, not to serve yourself. And then right now, I'm a Banjulian, and I'm the deputy chairman of Willinga Market. So that should tell you something. Okay, uh, your party, which is the Gambia Democratic Congress, has not done well in the last parliamentary elections. Um, you suffered uh, greatly, you know, because your political opponents hit you hard in your face. Um, during the political con uh, during the uh, elections, so um, are you optimistic that um, that history will not repeat itself in the local government elections? Meaning that GDC is going to grab. Are you confident that you're going to grab a lot of seats this time? Thank you. Inshallah, we are happy. Everything is given by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I believe, as a Muslim that whatever Allah don't give to me is not good for me. And whatever Allah give to me is good for me. So GDC in this local government election coming, I believe that we will do wonder. Because the message that our party leader, Honorable Mama Kande, giving you the campaign time, Gambia didn't believe, didn't listen. But today they are seeing the impactation of that. So I think after the parliamentary election, Gambia are more aware today. So on the 15th of April, we will see many changes. Many Gambians will come in politics. Many candidates will be youth, and many youth will come to office. Okay, so the incumbent, that is the person that you may likely contest with uh, in Crab Island world, um, how would you rate his performance as an individual and as the councillor elect? you know, for that particular word. Yeah. You know, uh, Allah say in the Holy Quran that we should respect mankind. Uh, Honorable Touré, first is my in-law, but uh, when it comes to help our nation, mm -hmm. there's thing we should put apart. We look at the Gambia. He have done five years. Let him give chance to all us. The Gambia belongs to all of us. The capacity you have, maybe where you stop, someone can start there and go further. That's what I have as a message for him. He's a brother, he's my in law. I respect him very well and I respect his personality. In, in your own observation, um as an individual that you have 
uh, you have interacted with uh, over time, um, has he done well in your world, or there is still a more improvement that is that is required of him? You know, uh, when it comes in working, the perfection is only in the hands of Allah. We all do our best. As a citizen, he did what he can do in his capacity. Maybe I will take from there and go further. Okay. And someone will come from where I stop to carry further. Okay. That's what we should, we should do. So, w w w what is going to be your immediate project when you assume office or when you are lucky to be elected as the councillor for um, Club Island World? Okay, right now I cannot uh, take all the tools out. This is my first interview. Maybe when I come back from the IC and then by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I come back here, I will tell you more uh, about that. About that, yeah. In, in, in this country, before we can give you a leadership position, we have to test your leadership abilities. Um, do you have any role of a leadership? You know, have you been tested in a leadership capacity before? Okay. In GDC, I have served as a head of fundraising. Yeah. Due the time of uh, Honorable MC Cham Junior. Yeah. Now our youth president is Honorable Yero Diallo. And then I know what I can do. Okay. Yeah. So within Crab Island, um, would they point out anything and say, Honorable Makalo have, is the one that has brought this to our community? I have just answered you some minutes ago of then, some sets at all with us. Okay. And not only, uh, there's one thing we should know. If you are elected in Crab Island, mm -hmm. that is your word. But you are serving the Gambian people. Okay. Wherever you are elected is to serve the, the, the nation. Okay. The not people, only your word. Not only your word. It's true. That is a mandate, a power mandate that you have in that area. But you can go above. Okay. Yeah. So, um, are you confident of victory, Mr. Makalo? Really, if you see me coming here, you have to know that that man believes in himself. Uh, I put my trust in Allah. With Allah, everything is possible. What belongs to you, he will give it to you at his own time. Yeah. So what advice do you have for the electorate within your, uh, within your world? That is Club Island. You know, we have a problem in our election. Uh, like uh, my parents used to say, Nkabadia choki until katambi. We have to be very wise. Let us don't elect people due to nabadi wolong, nakoto kelong, or nakafonyoma. Nite ya longo a mari o doko a sa keno o plaso diala. That will be the best thing for us in Gambia. We have to do that now. Um. What is your relationship with people, uh, with the residents of uh, uh, Crab Island world? Uh, because you are someone that is uh, quite often not present within Banjul. You are somewhere in Milingana. So how close are you? How close are you with the, with the residents of Crab Island? Do they know you? Are they, are they family with you? Okay, many people are familiar to me due to circumstances, maybe event or something else. It can be in good time, it can be in bad time. It can be somebody pass away, it can be it's a bad day, it can be an Indian ceremony, it can be a marriage. We meet each other and discuss about many things as Gambians, as brother, as relative. Yeah, but uh, you know, everybody cannot say good for you. And then you have to accept that. Okay. Yeah. Um, Gambia has been, Gambians have, you know, uh, Gambia has been divided um, on the political line due to our political differences. Uh, we have a lot of problems here and there uh, due to the difference of our political ideologies. Mm -hmm. um, what, what would you do in your capacity as a ward councillor when you elect to ensure that people are united once again? Okay, you know, GDC is a school of knowledge. If you need knowledge, go to GDC. You will learn a lot. 
I have a project, not only for that world, for the old Gambia. Whenever I have a chance, if I'm coming here next time, I will come with all those stuff and explain everything to the public. Gambian, we have what you cannot see in other country. We are blessed. We are lifted. Allah have given us all what we need to develop ourselves. In any country, if you want to go forward, there are three important things you need. You need the water, you need the land, you need the mankind. Gambia have these three things. We have the water, the river Gambia. We have the land, you can look. We have the manpower. 60% of Gambia population are youth. What is the problem? The politic arena. I think we have to change our political system. Okay. Yeah. How can we change it? If you can give me some minutes, I will go deep inside. To, demanding the man. Go ahead. Okay. Today we have media house, we have internet facility. If you want to make a campaign, you don't need to go and block some areas of way or travel. You can go to media house and do your campaign. They do have vote people go and just vote you. If people like you, they will vote you. If he, they want to vote you, they will vote for you. Even if you don't go there. So we have to change things. Because when you want to go from here to Basia to go and make your campaign, how many people you are going to remove in Banjul or in Combo? How much is the budget it will take to the people? Whereby the media house, what is the use of the media? They we are not using our stuff properly. Right now I'm here. Tomorrow everybody will know that Makalo was here. Mm. Gambian we have competent people. But I'm very sorry. The president have used his power you know, to set a cabinet who will go and, you know, inspect the council. It's very good, that is his power. But in my point of view as a citizen, it would have been more better to open a cabinet whereby any youth who have any knowledge to take the country forward, come and we listen to you. That is more better. So, so in your take, in your, in your own opinion, um, the president's um, instituted the Commission of Inquiry is th definitely uh, a wrong decision. It should have been a wrong, a, 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 a another way around. Is that what you're trying to suggest? No, uh, I can't say my president, his suggestion is wrong. I can't say it. Okay. You know, they say the leader elected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if I say that for my president, is mean I don't ever respect my party leader. No, that is his own idea. I'm just adding my small plus to him. And then Allah have said that we have to look for knowledge. So I think we have to open a platform from the youth. Anybody who have any idea how we can do to take the country to another level, let him bring the idea. I want to short one point from you mm -hmm. right now. Uh -huh. Right now, when you look at the problem of the transport of the Gambia, up to today we don't have a solution. But the solution is there. We don't have garage. We have a place. Where you are seeing Nawek right now, that is not the place in Nawek where development in Gambia is going today. Nawek can be sent somewhere else, and that place can be used as a garage. That is possible. That Nawek is a government. You can send them anywhere, they have their vehicle. And we use that place like a garage. That is possible. We have a problem of transport. Gambia today, we don't need to use van. What we need in Gambia today is bus. Because if you have a bus who can take, example, 100 people, if you take from Westfield to Banjul, even five dollars, even the liter cost 200, you can make it. If you start from six in the morning to 10, Five in Banjul, five out, that will give you 5,000, you pack your car. Twelve, you go back in the traffic. Five in, five out to four, that is 10,000. You go six up to 10 again, you have 15,000 a day. You can pay the driver 2,000 a day, that will cost him 6,000 monthly. And the apprentice, 
thousand dollar say they will cost him thirty thousand. Gambia, we are blessed. Let us make good use of our advantage. So thank you so very much, um, Mr. Uh, Makalo. Uh, this almost brings us to the end of the uh, show. My final question to you is going to be: um, Don't you think you'll end up trying your way behind another political figure? Um, in Crab Island, instead of you contesting yourself for that seat. I didn't meet that in my family. Loyalty is something that you don't have to compromise with it. You have to be honest from yourself. To bring your honesty out, you have to start from you. GDC is my party. GDC is my home. I will only be in GDC. Except GDC is not a political party. But as far as a political party, if it is just one person, I will still be with GDC. What is your final statement on this show? Oh, I'm so interested to be here with you. And then I hope that, uh, you know, you'll give me another chance to come here. And I also thank your entire team for the work you people are doing. This is what Gambia needs today. Go to the grassroots and know what is going on and, you know, bring it out to stop judging the book by the cover yeah thank you so very much viewers that brings us to the end of this weekly news recap my show was uh, my my guest was mr mr Makalo, um who has thrown his hat in the ring for the uh, upcoming local government election uh for the um position of a councillor uh in crab island world uh, I was a host, Al Kali Cham, by Famos. Thank you. Thank you. So